How long we been at this bar? Four hours? We've been here since one time. <laughs> That's how we get it. Like, one, one. It had to be about 1.30. It's about 1. Wait, let me see. Who do we talk to? Who do we talk to? Look for the phone. <laughs> you just been here forever. I know. I know. I'm so sorry, y'all. This is day one of my weekly vlog. I ain't recording no footage. It's trifling. All the food we done had, but we about to get some spinning bits. This is my new favorite place. I'm sorry. I don't want to go nowhere. Y'all yeah, make take sure. Me to your motors. All your maestros. <laughs> These are all five star restaurants in DC. Yes, we love OF. I like Hamilton too. No, no, I don't like Hamilton. I like. Um, I like Clyde's oh yeah, Clyde. They the yeah, same people. Yeah. That's why I, I like Clyde. I like class, I like O Evan, and this is the Breakfast Club in Silver Spring. It's really, really good. Yeah, it's good. We've been here, We've been here like been, four hours. I got you. I'm supposed to go to the hospital. And I'm supposed to be at home packing. Listen, we still here. Still here. Order some more food and everything. I'm going to before we leave because I'm not doing no more food. Until the accounts ain't empty. It's bad, y'all. It's bad. I done found me some new little chicken meat. He's handsome too. He's a little cute little thing. He's on the 12. I'm yeah, he gotta be about 18 years old. He's going to jail. He's definitely going to jail. He's a handsome little fella though. Let me go pay this motherfucker thing before we get a ticket. We'll be back, y'all. Pay, pay to me to leave. I ain't record the Brazino that I had earlier, but this is what's... Oh, you do? Yeah. Send it to me so I can put it in the vlog. My best friend says she got a video, but I'm going to show y'all what's left. Here you go, tidy it What's left of the brain Zeno? That's it. It was so good, y'all. I'm gonna order one to go home with because that's all that's left of the head. <laughs> Stop! Oh, damn! <laughs> She made cause she ain't going on vacation this spring yeah. break. <laughs> she pissed because she in the city with me. She don't want to be in. She ain't on no beach. Where her motherfucking feet kicked up and she don't know how to act, baby. She is depressed. She's going into a whole depression. <laughs> it's bad, bad. She be gone every month out of the country. Not out of town, out of the country. Every other month she out of the country, y'all. My best friend. She mad because she here on spring break. She need to sit down. Ain't filed her taxes or nothing. I can't think of filing taxes. I need a flight. Ain't filed taxes or nothing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm devastated. And up out of here. It, it does look delicious, and it's got the crab meat in it. Let's dig in, baby. Go ahead, dig in. Yeah, I'm gonna watch you do it. It's watery. It is. Yeah. Oh Lord, here we go. Let's see. She said it was popular. This happy hour? Yep. The girl back there, so it should be good. Yeah. That's good. It's okay. Yeah, 
sorry, but this shit is delicious. It's loose. It's loose. It's loose. You don't think it's good? It's loose. It is loose. It's loose. Like, it is loose. But it's good. And they got, they got inside of you. Six days back. Too much of the water. They did. Yes, they did. They said, this white bitch. They said, it's too watery. Okay. Let's send it back now. Don't take no more. Just send it back. What else are you going to get? Mmm. It is watery. Okay. It's good, y'all. Tell me. I guess it's not going to be watery. No, it's not. It's watery. It is watery. Hey, baby. Take out the white bitch. This is a total difference. Look how this look, y'all. Now, y'all, my chef was here tonight. My chef, my girl was in here tonight. Look how she fixed that up. That's a woman there that did that. I'm gonna let you, you break into it. it. You didn't want to send it back. It was good the first time. You but let's wanted, no, well, let's that see how it is this time. No, that wasn't good. Yeah, no, we need to pull it. We need, yeah. We didn't want You wanted to let's keep see. eating this shit. Now, this is a dip. Oh my God! Man, now, can you imagine how that? Can you imagine how that Branzino would have tasted? Baby, let me tell you something. It even smells amazing. Oh my God! Can you imagine how that Branzino would have tasted? Come on, get this dip right here. Mm. Get this dip. Now that's a dip. That is. It smells amazing. So oh see, my it's God! A so go ahead, do I your thing. You. <laughs> but she fixed it. My girl fixed it. Yeah, but she was ready to eat the mustard soup. Cause I'm third. I think I'm cause I'm drunk now. That's why. So watch your mouth. Don't play with me right now. I don't feel like. You right? Ooh, yeah. Come on, cheese. You want to eat the damn soup? Well, the girl fixed it. So shut your pie hole and just tell me what it tastes like. Oh. Well, we need some more food. Smells better. Nice and cheesy. <laughs> damn soup. Right. Let's see. This looks delicious. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't know what happened the first time. It's totally different, y'all. Hope that ain't the chef. The consistency of everything. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. Baby, it's a hundred times better. That's what I meant. This is good. It's like a pasta mm -hmm. with crab, y'all. This is so good. Y'all see this? Listen, the people's not ready. Mmm. Touch my tie hair go here. I know I look a mess. Okay, I know. All right, I'm just getting up, getting myself together because I'm about to start packing at my house. As you guys know, previously, um, I packed up my basement, so now we're moving up into the house. So, the goal today is to take care of the first floor. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna take care of my kitchen. Um, my dining room, break down my living room. Um, some of this stuff I'm not taking. And uh, I want to take care of the first floor and I want to take care of my craft room. So I'm standing in my craft room now. Um, you know, I got to pack up all these printers. This stand is going to go. Um, my heat press, I have, I actually have two heat presses. They're going the black table. So basically all of this is going with me. Um, so my goal today is to like get all of these items packed up and my downstairs area by the end of the day. Okay. And I might go into my linen closet. Okay. So that's the goal for today 
it the time is now about I don't know it's probably about eight in the morning um I'm supposed to have a consultation today with some stuff I gotta take care of a little bit of business a lot of trash we have to get rid of but let me show y'all like what I got to pack okay so this is my front door when you come in my house uh, these boxes are empty but this is my living room and dining room which of course is going to go as is i'm going to have to remove the the bottom for, um stands from my couch i'm going to take care of that um we're going to break this table down today wrap all of this glass up properly stack my chairs um those are my babies they dirty they need a bath we're gonna take down all this artwork um and this is my kitchen so i moved in here two years ago y'all and i like never unpacked this stuff so i don't know if i'm gonna take all this because i haven't seen it in two years and i don't know what's in here still in the u-haul boxes so we might get rid of this that might be trash but not all of these tools and stuff like that are going like everything is not going like I don't know what this is. My mother-in-law gave it to me a while back. Like, that's probably not going to go. This air fryer is not going to go. This microwave is not going to go. Like, a lot of this is going to be trashed. A pot and pan set up here, as y'all can see. Like, I got some pictures up here. Some of those are going. Some of this is not. Like, some of this stuff, like, it's just not going to go. Yeah. We got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do. Let's go. Gang, I got the gang with me. Gang, gang. <laughs> Look at them. What you doing? What you doing, buddy? I know. <laughs> Mom, say hey to the YouTube. Hey. 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 Okay, and you are not on the level where you used to be. So I'm excited to see how Cardi B will clap back from this. How she would come back and you know who will win. But again, watching yeah, Armand. I mean, Shout out to Armand Ar Ar Wiggins. I love you. Flow. If you ask me, I gotta keep it real. Bia can rap, but Bia sounds like she's always smoking 50 blunts to the face. Catching up on my YouTube. Um, I did a lot today. We did a lot up. today. Until Let me show y'all everything that we did. Energy. And we'll see you soon. Peace out. Peace out, Armand. Hold on, y'all. It's a whole lot of money in this little huncher. Mm -hmm. All right, let me show y'all everything we did today. As you can see, okay, we boxed up. 
All right, all oh, this we got done today. The kitchen is done. It's trash I gotta take out. Like, the kitchen is done. Nothing on top of the refrigerator, nothing in the cabinets. Y'all see my table's gone. We broke that down, packed up. I think I'm going to end up with less stuff than what I originally came with, which is good. Um, all my pictures off the wall. These bar stools, I'm gonna get rid of. This entertainment center, I'm gonna get rid of that. The glass, I'm actually also getting rid of this TV. So that is not going. Um, my couch and love seat or my couch and swivel chair, those are going. And this is the boxer. So tomorrow, um, I will have my upstairs left. So I will come back to you guys tomorrow. I will show you guys a before or where we start and then where we end tomorrow during the day. So tomorrow is Wednesday, April the 17th. Um, today is April the 16th, Tuesday. Um, I got to go to work in the morning, um, drop my father off at the airport, and then I'm going to come back and just like get straight to it. In my son's room, we're going to take that bed down because I am taking the bed so he can have a bed when I move. Um, the mattresses, um, the entertainment center in his room is not going um, let me see what else. It really makes me tempted to keep this entertainment center and put it in his room now that I'm thinking out loud. And I could just paint this wood a different color because it is a good entertainment center. So we might take that. We might take this one, but the one upstairs is definitely not going. Um, box up the clothes a lot of I still have a lot more clothes that I have not worn since I moved here y'all I've been here almost I mean I've been here two years so like it's going in the trash so while I save money and just sit up at my grandmother's I'll probably try to build my wardrobe and start to order things for the new place um so yeah we made good progress today the basement is complete um and packed out still washing clothes still cleaning stuff up and get rid of a lot of stuff though a lot of the stuff is just not going i don't want the stuff to go into my new space um and then i want to get quite a bit of new things yeah my amazon cart is like five thousand dollars it's probably more than that somebody will buy for me yeah but that's it. That's all we got for today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Yeah. Shit, I shit my mouth up. Then they started tipping me. Tip me sometimes five dollars. That was a lot of money back then. Girl, let me tell you one thing. I stayed on that tip top, tip top, and I made five hundred dollars every night from them. I don't even think you don't know I ain't never seen a gas be a I ain't never seen a light be a cook. Don't care what they call you, shut up. Their lips get you in trouble. Still to this day. Lip sync shit. You know what? They try to move me down, baby. When they come for me out. They're going to sell their property. They're on government property. Welfare property. And they're going to sell their property. Who? Yes. The Jews. They sell it. They wouldn't sell it to me. Well, I'm telling you, over there where, where I lived in South East, 
Let me tell you one thing. I've been standing up for so long that she'll turn condo. I, I shut my mouth up. Oh, all them girls want me to How you stay here? Get there early in the morning, place home at 6 o'clock. I get there at 5 o'clock and clean up. So when I clean up, it's dirty. I have that place clean when that man come in there. I'm sitting here and watch and watching Beast of Moon. Let's try this again, y'all. So look, nothing when it's playing today, okay? Nothing. I'm recording this on my front camera, so it might the, the, the quality might not be as good. Nothing went as it was supposed to go today, okay? Nothing. I got up this morning. My plan was to pack out my craft room and my son's room. Yeah, it didn't happen. Didn't happen. So I'm about to attempt to do that now. Uh, the time is now 6.03 p.m. And it is Wednesday, April the 17th. Um, I got my storage today. I feel accomplished. I reserved my U-Haul today. Like, I'm about to be out of here. Y'all, I spent one day up at my great-grandmother's house. One day. Not even a whole day. Just a couple hours. I got some footage of her talking. So, we're going to have a lot of talks with, with great grandma, with Gigi ma, okay, with mother. And um, I think I put that before this. Y'all, she's going to talk to me. She's so excited. Like, she is so excited. But I'm going to tell y'all how God works, right? I am, like, being so humbled right now. Like, I don't even think I have the words for how I'm feeling. When I first realized that I had to go back home, I was, like, upset. I'm like, dang, God, I haven't been, I haven't had to go back home since I left. Like, it's been 16 years. Why Why do I have to go back home? Like, can we make a way for me to just stay in my house and then move, you know? But sometimes, y'all, you got to reset. And it's okay if you have to go home. Like, if you have to go back to where you started and reset, that's okay. And I'm learning that it's okay. It's okay. It's only for two months max. God spare me. God speed. And it's just for me to get to my ultimate goal, which is getting back to my son, you know, and just being in that space with my son. That's like my ultimate goal. And I pray that, you know, that's what God is leading. I'm, 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 I'm on the right course. Like I'm, I'm doing what my spirit is really telling me to do even though it's not what I want to do. I'm going to say that one more time in case you ain't miss it. <laughs> I'm doing what my spirit is telling me to do, even though it is not what I want to do. I just sat here. I had to do a rebudget. I feel like every week something's coming up and I have to rebudget and it's more of an expense and it's more money that I have to spend. It's this and that. And it's killing me. It's killing me. And I'm like, God, I just want to walk in your will. I just want to do right. Give me the strength. Give me the wisdom. Give me the knowledge. Y'all, walking with God is not for the weak. I'm telling you, like, submitting to his will when it's not in a line with what you want to be doing, that's got to be the hardest thing ever. And I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it so 100 right now. And, like, as I'm experiencing, my great-grandmother is will be 96 years old this year. Should be 96 years old this year. So it's like, I feel like in a way, God is giving me my last time with her before I transition, like, and before she transitioned. And I'm just, when I sit back and I think about it and I'm like, you love me that much to give me that time with her. So I'm just trying to, as frustrating as this is, right? Because the situation back there is not even what my family told me it was going to be. But I'm just grateful, number one, that I have a place to go. Because it was looking like for a second that I low-key didn't. 
So I got a place to go and I'm just able to like work on me a little bit, you know, before I transition back into um, 100% mommy, you know what I mean? And, and it's, it's just crazy how life works. Like this walk thing, y'all, it's not easy. More times than none, you're going to have to do what your spirit tells you to do. You, you rarely are going to get to do what you want to do, but that's the beauty in it, right? Submitting to God, full submission. Like that's, that's faith and it will work out in your favor. So if there's something out there that you're scared to do, you don't know what to do, go to God. Let your spirit lead you. I'm telling you, if you if you wait on God, he, you take, let him take one step. Let him, you take one step, he'll take 10 in your favor when you're following him. So I just want to get up here and encourage somebody because like, I'm, as I'm sitting here, I'm having these like full circle moments. Like I remember when I moved in this place and I was in so much pain and I was heartbroken and I was hurt and I was trying to figure it out and God had blessed me with this place and I he, I did a lot of healing here and a lot of work on myself here. And if these walls could talk, oh my God, you know, this is a big portion of my life. Like this is one of my healing journeys here. And I'm just so grateful for this space. And now he, I don't know what's next, y'all. I do not know what's next. The stuff with the apartment down in Texas is not working out with the dates, but I'm just doing, like when I tell y'all like, Okay, like stressed out. But God, this is what you told me to do. So I I pray that you continue to make a way. It's that faith thing. So one day at a time and we're gonna keep growing through. So let's get into some more packing. Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> Today is Thursday. What's today, the 18th? Yeah. I need to get out because I need to start taking this stuff out back. We got a lot of trash to get rid of. Y'all, yesterday I did end up completing my craft room with the exception of my closet. I got some old shoes I need to get rid of. So we got a lot to do today. Um, I think I'm just going to literally pop my head in at work. Literally, like pop my head in y'all good okay i'm gonna go back finish moving um yeah while well, i got my father car get as much done as possible <laughs> i don't know my nerves i think anxiety i just hope everything goes like smooth you know what i'm saying like i want my mood to go smooth i want my transition to be smooth while I'm at my grandmother's. I want my transition to be smooth back to Texas. I want my move and process to be smooth. Like, I just want everything to be smooth. You know? Yeah. So, I'm just grateful to God. Thank you, God, this morning for waking me up on this wheel with me, you know? kids being good like i'm just grateful i'm just grateful i will be happy when i get on the other side of this this transition phase you know i like to be calm and settled and right now i feel like i'm ah, so let's get up and get this day started let's go let's go okay angels i'm up I'm out. Um, I moved a few items around in the house. So when I get back in there, I could kind of know what I want to do. The goal today, truthfully, I want to get all the trash out. And I want to at least move. I want to get all the trash out. Well, this is a lot. This is a lot to do. Oh, my God. Moving is so much work. Like... Okay, so I wanna pack up my son's room. Once I pack his room up, we wanna get all the trash out. And then we wanna move as many boxes from the first floor, 
right? So we want to move the boxes from my son room down to the first floor because I really want my last thing to be um, is my room. And tomorrow is Friday. I have someone's makeup to do for their birthday Friday. So, um, I'm not really going to be able to do too much tomorrow because I have that going on. So that's going to take a day for me. And I'm supposed to pick up my truck Saturday. I probably need to change that reservation to Sunday. I think I need to change that reservation to Sunday. Because I don't, with me not having tomorrow. Mm -mm. So I need to do that. I need to change my reservation for Friday. I mean, for Saturday to Sunday. And I can actually move Sunday. Because that will give me all day Saturday to um, to finish to finish y'all I'm all over the place I don't even know what that is on. I'm all over y'all say a prayer for me because I need it I'm on my way into work drop this chili and stuff off sign in for today I'm gonna go get me a small bite to eat with a coffee I haven't had a coffee all week in like two weeks I haven't had coffee in like two weeks I'm gonna have me a cup of coffee today and try to get my mind together so I'll be back breakfast was delicious absolutely amazing a little spot I gotta get it in while I'm here y'all I'll probably be eating here more than less my last couple months. And like I said, you don't get this in San Antonio. So my little spots back home, I'm gonna enjoy as much as I can. Yes, you go get to work. How about you? Thank you, hon. All right. Thank you. So home in there. Make sure y'all check them out on the Murray. I miss my spot. like I never left fueled up because I got a long day excuse me child let's go let's get to it okay angels checking in Whew. um got quite a bit of stuff done today um the time is now hold on let me see 6 20 p.m um i'm actually at the mall i'm at wheaton mall in wheaton maryland i have to find me something to wear to this all black birthday party the 60s birthday bash so i came up here real quick to try to find something um because i'm not gonna have time tomorrow tomorrow when i get up i gotta go check in at work after work I kind of got to come home. I'm going to prep a few things in the house. Bring some. I want to get everything out of the basement between tonight and tomorrow. Bring everything up to the top floor. So I don't have to worry about going back down to the basement. Other than to clean. And then it's going to be time for me to set up to go do my class makeup. So yeah. Let's go see if we can find something black and cute at the mall. Let's go. All the way up here for my store to be closed. This used to be a store called Olive Olay. Now it's called Q. What the fuck is that? That shouldn't be a mess. 
So, I don't know what other stores they got to be. So, I got to figure this shit out. Oh, my God. Y'all pray for me. I don't know what they got. So, let's see. They got an H&M. Let's go in there. Only to get down here and the H&M has gone out of business. Oh my God. Only to get all the way down here and H&M has gone out of business, bitch. Lord. This is a fucking mess. So, that was a complete waste of time, okay? Went in there thinking I was going to go into a little cute little clothing store called Olive LA. Olive LA is gone. Um, all that's left in Wheaton is tennis shoe stores and jewelry stores. There are no clothing stores. The H&M is gone. Like, where are the clothes? Where are the clothes? So, y'all, Moe's is looking like they going out of business, honey. I did give me a cute little fragrance from Rue 21. Y'all try that Rue 21 fragrance. Thank me later. It's a cute little dupe of um to me it's it gives like flower bomb. It smells good. Um so I got that shit. And I'm starving like Marvin. So I'm debating if I want to go to my hook it real. Hook it real is the little seafood spot up here in the DMV, and I'm debating. If I want to go to mine or the Wheatons, I want to try Wheatons because I never have been to their bar before. So I kind of want to try and see what it's giving. But if I don't like it, I'm going to be mad. If I don't like it, I'm going to be mad. So we got a couple little more minutes in here and I'm going to go in here and see if I like the vibe. What is this? Day five of the week or day six? Because I started on Sunday. Y'all, I feel like I still have a lot of shit to do. I still got to break down my room. Um, I need to get everything out of the basement, everything out of my room, and everything out of here. So, um, the basement is totally packed. We just need to bring everything up. So, I'm going to bring everything up with the exception of the heavy items that I'm actually going to take out of the back door. Um, like my shampoo bowl, my chairs. I'm probably just going to take those items out of the back door and either pull the moving truck out in the back and do that. Which, like I said, I'm gonna get some movers, I'm gonna get the truck, and I think I'm gonna have the movers really just move whatever standing boxes I have left and my heavy stuff. And they really could put it on the truck. I really, really feel like I could get it from the truck into my storage. So, that's it. My son's room, as you can see, his mattress is back there. That's completely broke down. His bed is in pieces up there. I have a king-size bed, so I'm going to get the movers. That has to come out of my back door upstairs because that's how we got it in here. Got it in through the back door. It needs to go out through the back door. So um, I pick up my truck Sunday. I mean, I'm just getting closer and closer to tra full transition. And I don't know. It doesn't matter how I feel, though. God is still always worthy to be praised. I'm about to go and check in at work. Then I'm probably going to go get me some breakfast just to have a little me time, calm my nerves. Got to do a Target run today, so I'm going to make sure that I do that. Um, Target run and come back home. I'm probably going to try to do at least two, two or three runs to the storage on my own again to, to get rid of some of this clutter 
and then I'll start getting ready for the uh, event that I've been invited to and also pack out my car with the makeup so that I can get ready to get to my client on time. Um, I don't like to be rushed. I like to always get to my clients a little bit early. It takes me about 30, 45 minutes to set up. And then um, their makeup process takes about an hour, hour and a half. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, right now I just came from checking in at work, um, getting some breakfast. And now I'm at the mall at Prince George with PG Plaza, whatever y'all call it. And I'm about to go in here and um, I need to pick up some setting spray because I don't have any setting spray for my client later. And I want to get an undergarment, like a smoothing to smooth me out because tonight I'm wearing this black jumper and I've worn it before but I ain't take no pictures in it so I'm gonna wear that tonight but let's go in Ulta my favorite store When I tell y'all I'm exhausted, I'm not really exhausted, but it's just a lot. Like, I feel like I have a lot to do in two days. I just left the storage unit. I took, I did, I took a couple boxes, like five or six boxes. Um, I think tomorrow, right, because you know I got a party tonight. I think tomorrow I'm going to just focus on the house and whatever I could get done after the house is complete, like after I've gotten all, cause I still ain't took out no trash. I mean, I've been telling y'all every day, get rid of trash. I ain't got rid of no, dang it, no trash run. So I think what I'm gonna do tomorrow is just focus on the house, getting everything to the main floor, all the boxes, the bins. I have a few boxes left in the basement. I brought a lot of that stuff up last night, like getting all of that up to the main floor um so that when sunday comes i can just go hire the movers and pick up the truck and be done you know like sunday evening i don't want to have to do anything but possibly call the cleaners you know call the people that i want to clean the unit um on monday you know get the unit clean next week get have the um the landscaper come out cut the grass and that's it that's all i want to do like i want to be done with this unit by next saturday completely done you know what i'm saying like completely done so i'm tired i'm tired I guess of the moving process like I'm not literally tired just the moving process it's a lot of work um thank god for my best friend and her mom because a lot of it I did by myself but they came through you know the other day and helped me so I'm grateful and you know I'm gonna ask them to come back and help me Saturday you know Sunday I just want everything in place so all I have to do when I hire the movers is for them to come in and move the stuff out like I really really think that I can move it off of the truck because the items that I I just don't want to lift all this shit onto the truck you know what I'm saying but the way that my storage is it's a drive up storage so I don't mind loading it off of the truck because I'm rolling it right off the truck into the unit you know what I mean and then I'm rolling it when I load my truck back up essentially I'll be putting the heavier items on the dolly and just sliding them onto the truck. So it'll be fairly an easy, um, 
an easy move. So that's today's status. I'm gonna go ahead and like close off this vlog because the only thing that I have coming up is um my event tonight and tomorrow's my grandmother's birthday party so I think I'm gonna include both of those things in one video so this concludes our weekly vlog um I'm gonna go ahead and add well no because I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Ulta I didn't show y'all what I got from Ulta. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Ulta and what I got from the beauty supply store. So wait one, I'm about to go in the house now and I'm gonna show y'all that. And then that'll conclude the weekly vlog. So let's get into what I bought. Spent a hundred, spent money I didn't have. How about that? And I didn't even spend it on myself, y'all. I spent it like on my business, like stuff to go towards my makeup business. I like, I, I, was, I said I was gonna get up this morning to go get my toes done. I ain't do none of that. Like, girl. Oh, I got some good news. Oh, let me get in the house. Let me get in the house. I got some good news, y'all. All right, y'all. Can y'all see me? I hope y'all can see me good. I'm not going to be too close, but I hope you guys can see me good. So I made it back in the house. I went, I put all the makeup, my makeup stuff in the car. Um, so good news. So remember last week when I was, or earlier this week when I was telling y'all like I just was having anxiety because I really wanted everything to work out. Let me tell y'all how God work. There's a unit available right now at the at the particular um, development where I want to live. Okay, it's located in the front of the development like I wanted. Now understand they're going to be some wants and needs. It's located at the front of the development like I wanted. It's a beautiful four bedroom like I wanted. However, it's not what they consider to be a fully renovated unit. It's upgraded. So the appliances are still white, okay? They're nice appliances, but they're still white. And you still have your granite countertop, right? So, and hardwood floors, which is gorgeous. But in the fully renovated units, you have stainless steel appliances, um, and then you still have your hardwood floors with the quartz countertop. So it's, it's nicer, no shade, right? It's nicer. The, the upgraded one that is available right now is nice, but the renovated is nicer. So I wanted a four bedroom, um, renovated unit on the second floor. Okay. So right now what they have available is, um, a one, a four bedroom upgraded so that's with the hardwood floors, but with the white appliances and the granite on the first floor. So I just said, okay, God, well, we're not going to be ungrateful. You know what I'm saying? So when I contacted them, they said they could only hold it till May 10th. Now, y'all, I don't plan on moving in till July 1st, right? Essentially, that's my date. Now, we in April. It's April the 19th today. So you're talking May, June. So that's two more months, right? So the young lady at the um, office, she contacted me today and she let me know that they will have a four bedroom unit, just like the one. So it's still first floor. It's still upgraded and it is still be available. Uh, it'll be available for a July 1st moving day. So I'm super, super excited. I just want to come up here and say, like, God will move. You take one step, you take one step in his direction, being faithful, he will take two. I still have a lot of things to do, right, before I even apply. So I want to make sure, like, my finances, everything is good so I can go ahead and apply. Uh, but I'm just grateful to have heard that news because it just kind of lessens that anxiety. You know what I mean? Like, if nothing else... I'll have a unit available for me. And it's still at the front of the property. It's a few more buildings back, uh, but it's still at the front. And I'm still grateful. Like, I'm, I was just really grateful to hear that news. So that was the good news that I wanted to share with y'all. Just, I've been really like anxious about this move and not really nervous, but just anxious, you know? And um, I just want to get it right. And so like this was just a sign and all the chaos to let me know like you're okay and you're doing the right thing and that place will be your home. You know, so I was just super excited about that. I just wanted to share that with y'all. So when I went to the store, I had to give me some shapewear for the night child. 
All right, so I got me some shapewear. So let me show y'all what I got from Ulta. Now, I've been hearing amazing things about this, and I've been wanting to get it for a while. So I got the Urban Decay All Nighter. Okay, y'all, y'all let me know. I mean, I hope it works. I hope it works. So I'm interested. I'm going to be using this on my client tonight because we do not want her, um, you know, I don't want her makeup to move. We want it to be smudge proof. I went in, you know, I had to get my baby. Okay, my regular daggler. This is, you know, this is my book. Okay, this is an all year round setting spray. It's just good. It's just, I love this. It's, I don't know the way it sets the makeup. Now, I've also been hearing about this, y'all. The, the um, what's the lady name? Charlotte Tilbury uh, Airbrush Flawless. This is supposed to be a long wear as well, a 16 hour. So, she's going to get a little bit of both tonight because I know she's going to be crying. I know she's going to be sweating. I know pictures are going to be flowing. So I just want to make sure like we really, really set her. So I got a small one. Again, I'm trying this out. Everything doesn't work for everybody, but I've heard really good things about these two in, in particular. Um, I wanted to try out this moisturizer. So I got the double repair uh, moisturizer, the La Roche. Um, I don't know. It says that it's all free. So we'll see. I don't know if I want to try this out today. We'll see. Because I, I use an e.l.f. Uh, moisturizer that I absolutely love. But I've heard good things about this. So that's why I got, again, a travel size. Oh, yeah. So this is really good for like, okay, if you have um, a client and they're going to be under highlights or sw out, in the out in the heat or, you know, on a movie set or a video shoot, Y'all, this along with a really good primer is just amazing skin prep right here. Like this Max Fix Plus, this is what you use before you put makeup on. So you go in, you're going to clean your skin thoroughly, okay? You're going to tone your skin, all right? You're going to moisturize your skin. And then you're going to put on this Fix Plus. Baby, let me tell you. And you could use this before your primer or after, okay? You could use it before or after. I would use it um, before you prime. I would put this on the skin. Before you prime, put it on the skin. And then, um, you know, hold on, let me see. It comes in a really... Oh, child. No, okay. So, you spray it, okay? Spray it on the skin and then prime the skin. Baby, let me tell you something the truth okay it will just i'm really start as i'm going on this makeup journey y'all i'm two years in i'm really starting to understand just how important and vital your skin prep is like it's vital i got me some duo lash glue i got me some of this i've tried a lot of things on the market no shade nothing is better than this nyx i'm sorry not sorry okay any type of any type of brow adhesive i think i have some that i'm using right now from I think I had, I don't know what I'm using right now. And it's good, but this just, this is it. Like, this works. Like, and it holds the brow. This and, and clear uh, lash glue. The, the clear glue, that, I mean, it's just chef's kiss. I heard the Anastasia brow gel was good too, but yeah, whatever. So, I saw these lashes, and naturally, like, during the week, I like a really natural looking lash. And these are pretty, y'all. Ain't these pretty? They're just gorgeous. And I don't like to wear too much like my everyday look like this is like my everyday lash look you know what i'm saying so when i don't do my individual lashes i like to put on a strip like this i mean these are just gorgeous oh they're pretty i don't know i might do them tonight um and then i got the warrior palette so i have the warrior too this was on sale for seven dollars y'all so i got the warrior palette then i went on on over to um I forgot where I was. Oh, to the beauty supply store. I got me. So these are the individual cluster lashes that I like to wear. Um, these are my individual. So these are the ones that I use. Oh my God, I'm making a mess. So these are the ones that I use on myself. Okay. These two right here. These are the ones that I use on myself. 
the medium, I would like to wear the medium or large, the three times value, the triple black 3D trio. So that's what I use when I wear my individual lash clusters. Okay, $5.99. All right, I got some more lash glue. I got a cute little lash for her tonight. I thought that these were beautiful. She is turning 60, so she's more she's a more mature client. And them ladies don't like them big old baddie lashes on their face. So I thought that these were really, really pretty. I highly recommend these lashes, the I Envy Mink Lash Collection. Bomb. Eats every time, never misses. So I bought these for her for tonight. And I think these are gonna eat with the makeup look that we're doing tonight. Um, I got some brow pomade. I wanted to try this. I'm trying to have another option other than pencils. Y'all, I love my pencils. I absolutely love my pencils. But sometimes, like, as it's getting hot, they're mo like, it sweats away. Like, I ain't gonna lie, it, like, fades away, right? Especially if I'm wearing a bang. So I'm hearing, like, get a brow pomade, get a tinted gel. So we're going to be trying this tonight as well. So I'm super excited about using this. I got me a brush. I need this brush. And then... I got, which everything is actually going with me tonight. I got me some contour sticks, y'all. So I got me some Ruby Kisses 3-in-1 um, foundation sticks. But I got all the dark shades because I'm going to be using these for contour, okay? I'm going to be using these as contour shades. I want to try something um, a little bit thicker. Normally, I do. You, don't get me wrong. You can use concealer. You could use any of these for contour shades. But these are the ones that I got. I wanted to try these, so I went, I got them in all the deeper shades for all the skin tones. So we're gonna rock out with these. And yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, that's all I got, y'all. So this is gonna conclude this week's video. I'm gonna go ahead and edit it and upload it and get it up so y'all can watch it. Listen, thank you guys so much for rocking with me. We're we're here every week. I'm taking y'all on this journey of transition and beyond. Okay. I told y'all I'm back. It's your girl, Ty. Touch my tie hair coat out, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions about anything, any questions for me, listen, I'm I'm on here. Like I'm outside. I'm outside in these YouTube streets. Go ahead and drop um your questions down below, and I'll be sure to answer them. It's your girl time. I'll catch you on the next video. I love you.